Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going? It's Charlie. Good morning. It's Sunday. Just got off work. Had to had to ride back home on the motorcycle. And now I'm going back to work to pick up Will. Because uh, my stepmom came and dropped him off. Heather came and dropped him off last night or yesterday afternoon so he could uh, spend the afternoon evening at the firehouse. <clears throat> And uh, he forgot to bring uh, his, a motorcycle helmet so he could ride back with me in the morning. So I just get to make two trips back and forth. No big deal. No big deal. But uh, pretty good shift at work yesterday. Ran a couple calls. And uh, actually just, just got off a 72-hour stretch. I picked up the middle day on my shift. Uh, we had a fella call in sick. But, uh, yep, pretty crazy shift. Had a couple, had a couple pretty good calls. Uh, a little vehicle accident last night. Some medical calls a couple days before that. But, uh, excited to have the day off. We're going to have, uh, dinner this evening, well, this afternoon, kind of, with, uh, my family's coming over to the house to hang out. And, uh. All the kids are here. Will's here. Adrian and Spencer are both here. And Lucia, as always. But, uh, yeah, it should be a good time. But, uh, how many of you folks out there ride a motorcycle on the daily, as a daily driver? I ride my motorcycle as much as possible. And, uh, you know, we've got the work truck and I've got a work van and I try to leave those home so that they, they can be out <laughs> making money for us. And uh, sometimes sometimes I could drive them, but I don't know. I like riding the bike, even when it's cold. It's getting chilly. Temperatures dropped like crazy here in Missouri this last week. We started out the week, and I was, we were cutting grass on Monday, and I was wearing shorts and sweating. And uh, on Friday, it was... 40 degrees and rainy and gross outside but I think I'm going to get the leaf box set up on my truck maybe today I might do that this morning because I feel like it needs to be done and today would be a good time to do it there's where my wreck was yesterday see there over there used to be a light pole it's not there anymore somebody hit it they broke it there's some stuff out there so there was a vehicle accident Friday and somebody hit that pole over there ended up hitting that pole over there and then a vehicle accident last night and somebody hit that pole over there so highway department is gonna be busy at this intersection they got plenty of stuff to do that's for sure but uh, anyway um, if it's the first time watching the channel this is one of my this is going to be one of the first videos on there. My name is Charlie. I own a lawn service here in Missouri, just outside of St. Louis area. It's called Molson Professional Services or Molson Pro Services. You can look us up online, molsonproservices.com. It's our website. And uh, we are winding down the lawn cutting season. I think we've got one more cut owed to a few customers their final cuts and then uh, it'll be a leaf cleanup and gutter clean out season and truck fleet wash season uh, we're we have uh, two sides to the business we've got a power washing side we've got a lawn care side and uh, the power washing side is the side that I really want to grow this year and I am going to be focusing on trying to get some truck wash fleet accounts. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's where, you know, you have companies like, so for instance, right now we service another lawn care company and uh, Amerigas. Uh, and we go every two weeks and we go on their property after hours, uh, after business hours, and we wash their trucks. And their trailers and their equipment and 
That way, their trucks stay clean, uh, maintains a good company image. It's easier to uh, for drivers to see stuff that maybe needs fixed on their trucks because they're clean. Uh, makes employees happy because their truck is clean and they don't have to get dirty just getting in their truck and out of, in and out of their truck. Uh, so it's a great service and we provide it for a very, very, very reasonable cost. Uh, what we charge to wash a truck, you could not pay your employees to go down to the gas station and wash. Look, oh, there's somebody riding their BMW. But uh, anyway, uh, hopefully if you watch this video, you'll subscribe to our channel. We It's going to be a daily vlog. I'm into motorcycles, big time. I've got a couple, couple motorcycles, and I'm also a dad of a large blended family. Um, and hopefully, we can get Heather on here to do some vlogging every now and then. And uh, yeah, it'll be awesome. But uh, oh, look, what? There's Will. He's ready to uh, ready to go home. Will Will has driver's permit. Let me see if he wants to drive. What's wrong? Oh, you want to drive home? Uh, sure. Wait, I don't have my wallet. It's all right. We'll chance it. It's two miles. Ugh. Will's gonna drive home. Be scared, folks. Be very scared. You're standing out there in the cold. Why are you standing outside? Because Heather said you just left the house and, you know, it's not that far away. So yeah. I just kind of sit outside. Here, hold this for a second. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Open your eyes. You're gonna drive. There you go. That's better. Uh, all right, folks. Well, if you see me later, that means I made it home. See ya. Well, we had to, we had to go grocery shopping this morning. We are going to make some breakfast. Look. Look who's pushing the cart. What is he's pushing the cart? What are you doing? What, do you want ice cream? Hey, we need to go to the register. Well, let's go to the checkout. So, let's go. Go that last line down there. None of that. Go on. You want to put the eggs and stuff up on the... Right here. Right here. Right here. Oh, gosh. Whoa. <laughs> she was trying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> put it up there. Good job. <laughs> Good job. You want to put your cart back? <laughs>